He's Marcus Foster, and he's here for uh, Eurosonic. And uh, he's for Vance, and he's here for Eurosonic as well. I played, uh, I played here at Crossing Border Festival and Walk the Line uh, Festival uh, a few times before. So, uh, yeah, I had some good times. I came here with uh, my bass player for the first time. And, yeah, and, uh, but this is the f first time I've been up here, so I'm excited to play. And played in Groningen before, actually. I like years ago with Bonnie Raitt, support a support tour. Yeah, I played. Uh, yeah, played r around here a fair bit actually. I suppose over the last three three years. That's a good one. The best sculpture in the world. Oh man, that's impossible. That's like saying what's the best song in the world. Um, well, there is one. Is there? There's one. It's like, yeah, it's like what's the perfect book or the perfect, uh, it just, it reminds, it reminds me of, what, well, I'm saying that, it reminds me of a, like a story by Borges where this guy was trying to find, uh, if like the history of the world was like an infinite library, somewhere in the library there's a book that, uh, you know, that's supposed to be like the, 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 like the imperfection, you know, the, the creator of all the books. And this guy kind of goes crazy trying to find this perfect book. And uh, I don't know why I thought of that, but I don't know. I mean, like, the best sculpture. I can't eat that. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. David. <laughs> no. It's got to be yeah. the roundabout. The roundabout? Yeah. Yeah? That's pretty inventive, don't you think? What's the roundabout? It's a thing you drive around on the road. <laughs> oh, the roundabout, yeah. 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 I like I like school runs. Yeah, and I like um, yeah, I like things like that, like, like walk walking to school in the morning. Not that I go to school, but other people's kids, I take them to school, and I do that. Uh, yeah, all the usual stuff. There's no big no big mystery stuff. Like you know, I don't uh, I don't sculpt or, or paint or take pictures. I take pictures. I like taking pictures, but mainly just I like just when I'm not when I'm not doing this. I like to just be at home, drinking tea and lighting fires. I guess I'm quite excited to see the three blind wolves. Um, they're they're good good guys and um, Mafia and the Atlas and daughter daughter's great. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, like I only know people that I know. Um, that, that are here, but I'd be interested to see if there's some new guys coming coming out. You know, check out some stuff, see if there's anything going going on. But yeah, that's that's. That's me. actually a better question than I thought it was. I thought you meant tips for new bands coming through, and I was thinking I feel like I need tips from somebody else yeah. about how to. <laughs> yeah. I see what you yeah, mean yeah. now, like tips yeah. about who's good to go and see. Yeah. Well, Lisa Hannigan's here. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, she's yeah. you know people know her now, but I think that'll be a beautiful gig. James Vincent McMorrow, that'll be a beautiful gig. See. It's all about the Irish people. Is he here? Yeah, see. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, are, they, are they here? They're both here. They're both here, man. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, they're great. Thank um, I haven't actually been over there for a while, but um, I'm I'm actually heading out there in March, April this year. So I'm really looking forward to going back and uh, going to do some shows out there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing, like touring the states, and it's just it's just amazing you know it's just so huge and like you know it's where all the kind of music comes from and it's just great i love traveling around there and yeah i mean it's it's strange but uh yeah it'd be nice to go back be nice. I, I i love new york i love new york uh, i could i could definitely see myself living there at some point um and uh i'm actually i've, I've actually spent a, quite a lot of time in la uh, recently and i i am kind of warming to that but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I love Chicago, San Francisco. I love. Uh, I love. Uh, yeah, an anywhere, everywhere. <laughs> I don't don't accept whiskey out of a milk uh, carton with um, strange fruit in it. That's, that's what uh, I had a bad experience in. Uh, Secret Garden Party. My God. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember. All I know is that um, nothing.
I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't even know why I brought that up, but uh, yeah, that's really pointless. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, it was quite fun. Yeah, except anything. Like that's the thing. People just, you know, at festivals like you would, you would always. You, you know, I don't know why I'm going to shut up now. I'm sorry. You'd like, you know, when people, you you do things you wouldn't normally do at festivals, wouldn't you? You just like accepting strange drinks from strangers and mm -hmm. I don't know. Not a wise thing to do at Secret no. Garden Party, though, really, no. is it? No, If you're going to accept anything from anybody, Secret Garden Party is maybe not the one that... No, don't accept anything from anyone at Secret Garden Party. <laughs> but good, go, because it's, it's fun. Yeah, yeah it's great. I like the little boutique ones, you know. There's so many of those, like the Y Festival. You know, I've been to loads of festivals down south, uh, southwest coast of England. That are, uh, you know, some of them have like four or five tents. It's not, but the vibes just great. I kind of like that yeah. more. It feels a bit more in the spirit of, you know, in the spirit of things. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's nice when festivals have different kind of things for people to do. You know, I mean, we played a lot of family orientated ones, which were nice, but it's. Uh, I don't know, I think pe people are getting, smaller festivals are getting quite creative now and like the bigger festivals seem to be kind of losing their, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You want to get booked on one of those next year, man? Don't yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just, uh, <laughs> we like them all, we like the we Glastonbury. Love them all. We love them uh, all. Glastonbury, yeah. we like Glastonbury. Yeah, Glastonbury's great. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm looking forward to going to the States and playing some shows and uh, I want to do another few tours of the UK and hopefully yeah, play some festivals and uh, I'm hoping to record a record this year actually and hopefully bring it out in October, kind of later on this year, you know. So uh, yeah, I guess just, um, you know, get, get a release in America for this current record that I've just done and uh, record a new one and hopefully bring it out, just keep the ball, ro ball rolling, you know. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. I want everything that he just said. I want. I want that as well. No, I'm. I'm recording. I'm doing an album. Recording an album in the first quarter of this year, like in the next couple of months. Going to New York at the end of the week here to kind of work with a couple of producers and see how I want to go about it. So, yeah, work just focusing on the record basically. Uh, yeah, you know, hopefully, hopefully there's some gigs, there's some gigs lined up, some more uh, European dates and some more uh, gigs back in London in the autumn, and um, but mainly just focusing on on writing and school runs, and top class and gym, and I love a school run. I love a school run. No, you could just walk to like you move in with me and you could just walk kids to school. Okay. They just gather outside my door. <laughs> well, some like if I get bored with some of them, then I. It's a website. I just gaffer tape them. To the to the. Pound telegraph. shop, pound shop tape is good, isn't it? Yeah. Kitty yeah. tape. No, I uh, I take uh, any kid that comes, I take to school. <laughs>